Phil made a scene that had Leah seeing green. I found him in bed with another woman. But her blind date was smooth, aiming to sue. At the end of our date, he bought me a rose. I can't remember any time you ever bought me flowers except when you've messed up, like been found in bed with somebody else. After Bill dates a work of art. She looks like Picasso's version of Uma Thurman. Her blood pressure went off the charts. Explain that, Leah. She's Discretion. just because my boobs are real, so. Now, will they stay together or have a change of heart? What? I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. This couple met when he waited on her at a restaurant and he brought her free dessert. Well, one year later, he says things aren't so sweet because of her petty jealousies just driving him crazy. Let's get their story. Please say hello to Leah Benefield and Bill Lacey. Yeah. Welcome to the show, guys. Good to see you here. And Bill, let me start with you. Describe these jealous moments. Okay, well, first of all, there's nothing uh, petty about it, Chris. Uh, jealousy is... Jesus, she got, I, I can't look at another girl. No, no, Mention no, no, ex-girlfriends. No, 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 no. uh, she's, you know, off the hook. It's a fight, guaranteed. Oh, no, no, let me I have like it. a schoolboy crush on like he Jennifer Love Hewitt, jealousy. right? He I have a magazine with her on the cover. And the next thing you know, Wait. where's my, where's that the new Maxim, well, honey? All, no. Oh, it's in the bottom of the trash can. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's just a magazine no, cover? No, 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 don't even go there. Because, you know, first of all, Jennifer Love Hewitt does look like a ferret. First of all, like some kind of small vermin. You know it's true. And the thing had coffee still on it. So don't even try and act like you're staying for quality articles and reading. That's a good excuse. Coffee, yes, you know, when it's Dirty, you throw it away. You don't see it around uh, with like rings. When, like, when I got it two table. days before that. Wait, let me ask Leah a very oh, important please. question though, because Whatever, Leah, okay. here, this is a very important question. Has Bill ever given you a reason to be jealous? Uh, yeah, I found him in bed with another woman. <laughs> no, I mean, no, 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 no. a harmless no, mistake. No, wait, 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 wait. Harmless yeah. mistake? Explain oh, that yeah. one. No, not I'm, even. Oh, let me I'm explain. living with roommates. No, let me explain. No, no, no. Weird feeling in my stomach. Wake up, you know, go in there. I'll go. Say hi to Bill, no problem. I wake up, but a bing a bit of bang, he's all snuggled up nice and close with some 17 year old hostess from his work. <laughs> Like Nothing said, happened. Wait, Nothing wait, I, I need to hear yeah. the innocent she's, mistake okay. part. She's okay. a young girl. Yes. She was over at the house. She had a little bit too much to no. drink. Yes. She needed somewhere to sleep. I put her in my Bottom bed. Bottom line, it killed the trust in our relationship. It is a mistake. mistake. Young girl. Yeah. Killed the but, trust uh, relationship. Still to this day, I have a lot of issues with it. It makes oh me feel a little God. insecure. So maybe that's where that jealousy that you're looking so hard for yeah, but how is long stemming from. Now? But wait, wait Leah, Leah, Leah oh, at this right. point, you walk in. What did you do? I picked her up and launched her ass against the wall. This happens, and then, but you stayed with him, though. Why? I did, because you know what? Even though in that one big screw up, which I'm not gonna even go there again. Anyways, <laughs> um, even because of that, like he's still every day. Up. He makes me feel exactly. like I'm special in some way to him. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah. very important. Now, Liam, what about when he does something wrong? And, and does he try to make it up, take you out, wine you, dine you, do those kind of things? Bill only takes me to white trash places. Okay. You like white trash places. Wasn't Let's go to Chewy's okay. after this. Unless you consider <laughs> buffalo wings and like Michelob Amberbach fine dining, I do not even. Ever anywhere really nice? Ever? Okay, I think maybe in like the year or so they've been together. We got to dinner one time, somebody's nice, but I paid for it so that really doesn't count. Right. Okay? Oh. Seriously. I don't yeah, remember that, so uh, oh I can't God. defend myself. You got a little explaining point. to do here, Bill. Why you don't can't. you take it from, you know, nice places? That's what, you know, they like. Okay, well, first of all, she talks about nice places, but this kind of girl eats with her fingers. You know, she loves finger food. Oh my God. Manners are not the kind of thing that she's accustomed to. Elbows on the table, napkin. Let me ask food. you this, though. When you do take her out, how does she look? <laughs> Tell, tell, okay. tell me about that. Well, so frankly, Chris, she's just as tacky. My friends have told me this. Uh, we, we go to a funeral the other day. She kind of asked me, well, what should I wear to this? And, you know, dress conservatively, dress something nice. She, you know, she, her boobs are hanging no, out. No, no. Everybody except for the dead guys <laughs> staring at my girlfriend's chest. You know what I'm saying? All right, Bill, what about that style that you just described? What about when you're home and you're alone? What about that? Okay, that's the whole key here. When she's at home, she, you know, she dresses totally butch. You know, she does, she throws on. <laughs> Sweatpants, oh old, old, dirty T-shirt. She'll wear all week long. Okay, uh, no, right? you know what? I teach aerobics. There. I don't wear nice clothes because I go to the gym. I don't wear makeup to the gym. <laughs> Call me crazy. Bill, besides those things, what else do you wish Leah would do? Well, I wish she could be a little bit more domestic. Okay, she, the girl cannot boil water. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Macaroni and cheese. Right. And um, okay. Yeah, she just. You just, aren't exactly Julia Child yourself, and you know it. If there was a lot of well, it, your ass be. wouldn't be mowing it. I'm sorry. Right, yeah. <laughs> there you go. But they made it this All right. Tough. Okay, hang on a second now, because in addition to the smaller little pet peeves, Bill and Lena told us that they came here to work on their trust issues. Now we're going to see how well they do, because next, Leah's date tells us how he enjoyed a bird's eye view of her butt. Small shorts, Great. tight top, incredible legs, huge <laughs> boobs. Great stomach, I mean, amazing. Yeah. 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 All right, we're back with Leah and Bill. Now, one of the rules
rules here at Change of Heart is that you cannot talk about your dates after you go out. Now, I know you guys haven't really discussed what went on, but Bill, I'm going to give you a chance right now to ask Leah okay. anything you want about the date. Go ahead. What time did you get home? <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Hello. 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 Good morning. I only had to spend about five, six hours with the guy. But I had a good time. What time did you leave? I guess you'll just find out what happened on the date, won't you? Yes, he will. As a matter of fact, now Leah asked for a guy who was taller than she was, who had hair shorter than hers, and who could bench press more than she could. <laughs> so we found her a six foot one, short haired cutie who can lift 200 pounds. Let's meet her Ooh. dating marathon man. Please give it up for Mark Harnois. <laughs> All right, so Leah, you guys were out for a really long time, something like 13 hours. What was that all about? What was the attraction? Oh, he's totally cute. The guy looks like a walking Abercrombie ad. I mean, it was totally like eye candy to look at him. He's got these like piercing blue eyes. Yeah. And he's just, I think he's fine. He's totally hot, you know. Very nice. Now, Mark, she mentioned your eyes. Where were they wandering when you first hooked up? Well, obviously, Leah's a beautiful girl, but straight down to her chest. I mean, oh! <laughs> huge boobs. I mean, Dude, incredible right there. Yeah. yeah. And hey, she had a workout enough. outfit on for our date, mm -hmm. and small shorts, great. tight mm -hmm. top, I mean, incredible legs, great stomach, I mean, amazing. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. There you go. <laughs> now, Leah, uh, Bill complains that you're always in those workout clothes. What were you going to do? Go work out? Or? Oh, we were going to go um, indoor rock climbing. Rock climbing. And, uh, so, of course, I was going to wear like, a lot of clothes. Romantic. And that was a nice little change, considering Bill wouldn't even think about going to the gym. I mean, I bought the guy a gym membership for a year. I think he's thought about going on the treadmill maybe three times. Are you worried about what I look like? Are you complaining about that? <laughs> Which is be nice. Never heard about I mean, there's the a nice change, a very nice alternative. Yeah. Yeah, right. so, That'd be enough out of you. So, <laughs> Mark, you guys were going to go uh, do this indoor rock climbing. What was the highlight for you? Got to say, checking out her ass. I was uh, playing for... What are you, climbing below? <laughs> yeah, I was actually belaying for her, holding yes. the rope at the bottom. She's climbing up. I already told you about the tight shorts she right. had on and great view. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> sexy. Straight up, straight up the mountainside there, right? Oh, yeah. Anything else you were admiring, though, while you were there? You know, I got to say that I love the fact that she's really athletic. I mean, she'd go all the way to the top of the wall. Anybody I've dated in the past, I mean, forget about it. Like, two rocks fall on their ass. That's hard to so do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was great. She's very athletic. I think that's really sexy. <laughs> And that turns right, you on a little bit, right? Leah, that's, that's a very nice compliment, isn't it? Really nice compliment, guys. Okay. Now, right. let, Leah, let's let's say Bill was there with you. What would that workout been like? <laughs> One, it wouldn't have happened. We would not have gotten off Boulder by for the first place. But <laughs> if, hypothetically speaking, of course, it would have happened. Well, whose idea was that? If it were speaking, <laughs> if it would have happened. Um, it just, I would have really toned myself down because Bill kind of has, he actually does have a lot of chauvinistic views about things. Like, he really thinks that, like, the man should have the upper hand, you know, hear me, oh, 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 like, Tim, 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 Taylor kind of thing, you know? So if you would have showed him up, it would have been bad. Yeah, it's like bad. And I do tone myself down for him, like, when we go to work out and stuff, like, shoulder workouts, I will tone myself down. A little tip here, she likes that, actually. So you're saying you purposely would, like, back off, lose, maybe? I less of a man. You'd purposely back off or lose just to make him feel better? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like dealing with the aftermath. It's not worth it. Not even worth it. Let me get Mark's opinion on that because Bill said she's too much of a tomboy. You were out with her like that. What'd you think? You know, on that one, I have to agree with Bill. I, about an hour into the day, I mean, swearing like a sailor. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so she, comfortable well, with spinning, him right? that I just thought I could really be myself so I could sit there, you know, and talk however I want to talk with my ghetto mouth. Yeah, yeah. she said it's her ghetto, you know? side. Uh, her ghetto side. So that bothered you just a little How bit? Mm -hmm. A little. Yeah. Now, Leah, what about the fact that you get a chance to get out of those workout clothes and then move on in the day? Yes, yes. Um, we changed at the gym into like our dinner clothes and everything, and um, Where at the it gym? was so nice in the locker room. Anyways, uh -huh. so it's I'm waiting for him. Right? He comes out. It's like boom, <laughs> chicka, boom. Got you know his pimp clothes on. He's all GQ looking, like yeah. nice pants and everything. Um, non cargo pants, which is such a nice change from Bill, considering he's wearing <laughs> he's still wearing his eighties clothes from high school, yeah. waiting for them to come back. School. Still right. waiting, and you'll be waiting for a long time. Now, which and Leah, was like, Leah, I also hope you didn't take any to any no kind of those bucks. white trash places that you said Bill takes you to for uh, dinner. No, no, no. There were no McNuggets in sight. Trust okay. me. We went to... She got me turned on we to McNuggets. A, oh, was a <laughs> so where'd you go? <laughs> we went to a really nice uh, beachfront restaurant, had a table right there on the water. It was so romantic, and we sat there and watched the waves crash. And oh. It was a really nice romantic yeah. dinner. Such Very a nice, nice change. Asleep, nice change point? in the drive through <laughs> Is that why you're out till three? You fell asleep? <laughs> Obviously, something was going on. Now, Leah, was it the uh, setting that was the only thing that was romantic that was going on? or? No, he kept you know, company all night, telling me how beautiful I was. And at the end of our date, he bought me a rose. It was really nice. It was really pretty. Nice you know? touch, Mark. I don't think Bill's bought me flowers in a long time. <laughs>
she go put it in the car right away? It's been, no, it's been, no, it's been, a, it's been a year, and I, don't, I can't remember any time you ever bought me flowers except when you've messed up, like been found in bed with somebody else. Oh, yeah. oh, so, <laughs> that again. So where are all the, all the dead roses laying around the house? Those are all from... From just you know, it was just nice. Not, it was nice right. not having to say. I'd Admirers. like to supersize that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mark, what about when you were out with Leah? She doesn't complain about supersize too much. Believe me. Mark, when you were out with That's Leah, did she get issue. a chance to open up to you? Did you feel that? You know, actually, she opened up a little bit. We're uh, standing in line to get into the club, and she told me all about her boob job. And at this point. <laughs> Very open. Oh, I had my yeah, suspicions anyway, oh, you but you know, know it was all good. And actually, she said, fake, but "Let me talk about him." Right. Bill didn't want her to you do it initially <laughs> because he felt there's going to be more guys checking her out, mm -hmm. which I'm sure there will be. And didn't want it done, but right. then she said, "You know what? I'm going to do it anyway." And uh, she figured she's going to do it. Then isn't it kind of disturbing right? all the old men though? You know, like you see, you got your 18-year-olds uh, and your you know grandpa wah, checking wah, out. Wah, wah, right. wah. <laughs> <laughs> You like the attention from Mark? Well, let's find out. Wait, 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 she wait, Bill. Uh, Mark, you were out. Were there were, were a lot of guys ogling? You know what? They were, actually. Anytime I went up to the bar to buy us a few drinks or I'd go use the restroom, I'd come back and there was always somebody different talking to her and trying to dance with her. Yeah, definitely. She definitely got well, a lot of She's attention. beautiful. I can Absolutely. understand that. Sure. It's understandable. Absolutely. Now, Leah, what about when these guys are hitting on you? Mark acted a little different, though, than Bill might in the same situation? Completely differently. It was so like calm and just like real like like laid back about it. Whereas you could also say boring. Bill's niche sure. over here would just like go <laughs> aggro, want to go WF SmackDown on someone, cause an unnecessary <laughs> fight. Now, Leah, what about when you're out with Mark? And we're talking about Bill here for a second. Did uh, thoughts of him cross your mind while you were out with Mark? Well, yeah, you know, a little bit um, in the beginning. Of course, I thought about Bill a lot, you know. But then towards the end of the date, I was so comfortable. We had such a good time. Like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not even a thought. Really? <laughs> So you're saying, what, by 3 a.m. it's like Bill who? Yeah. <laughs> I better get home quick before I get my ass in trouble. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so it did end late, obviously. Tell us how it wound down. Um, I took him home. I dropped him off his house, and I thought about giving him a kiss goodnight, but I opted for a hug she, instead. Being yeah. the respectful young woman yeah. that I am. That's all right. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so it ended very nicely, very gentlemanly very nice. like Bill. You, you should be happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Bill says that just seeing his date is going to drive Leah absolutely nuts. Hang on, because we're going to meet her next. She looks like um, Picasso's version of Emma Thurman. <laughs> With Mark, now it's Bill's turn to give us the scoop. Okay, Leah, fair's fair. Uh, actually, we gave Bill a chance to ask a question before his day came out. We'll give you the same opportunity right now. What would you like to ask Bill? I just want to know if he thinks she's hot. Yeah. Oh! Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. And what specifically did you like, Bill? Um, big boobs, blonde hair, nice butt. <laughs> makes it all right. Tall, skinny. Yeah, all those kind of things. Poet. All right, oh let's meet her and see if Bill's description is actually accurate. Let's say hello to Magdalena Zelinska. <laughs> got a chance to see her. Do you agree with Bill that she's beautiful? She looks like um, Picasso's version of Uma Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Picasso's version of Uma Thurman. Yep. <laughs> Explain that, Leah. I'll just leave it at your own uh, <laughs> well, she's discretion. She's because my boobs are real, so. Oh, I see. <laughs> Well, let me get your opinion now that Leah's seen her. How do you think she really feels? Uh, she hates her. I can tell. Oh, it's obvious, yeah. Jealous again. Right. Oh, my God. Right from okay. that door to here. Uh, <laughs> take she's long. blonde. She's, uh, you know, she's beautiful. Well, like, Leah's, you know, she's very exotic. She's very beautiful like that. But she's like the cover girl model. Gotcha. You know I mean? <gasps> now, Bill, what about the way cover Magdalena what? was dressed Old compared school. to Leah? Break. I'm sorry? How was she dressed compared to Leah? Oh, she, uh... Looks very sexy. She was wearing nice little capri pants, showing off leg, nice, you know, showing off shape, nice shirt. Um, no tomboy outfit. Yeah, she don't have to. Yeah, no tomboy outfit, and she's not showing it off to everybody. She's showing yeah, it off to Yeah, the girl probably me. gets winded walking upstairs. My God. Oh, oh, she's, believe me, she's in good shape. She's doing all right. Now, Magdalena, we heard Leah complaining earlier that she only gets to go to fast food places when she goes out with Bill. What about you and Bill? Were there happy meals involved? Not at all. Yeah. Our date was very classy. Yeah. We went to the museum. We went to the <laughs> Getty Museum. We oh saw God, a lot the of Getty art. Oh, my God, the Getty Museum is free. That's why I took you there. He's too <laughs> No money. Please. We, uh, no, not there. We no spent, change. 
Because now we spent a lot of yeah. money. We it's ate, free. we had drinks. I know it. Oh my God, I'm sorry. He's fooled you. Mm. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. No, no I, do have, I do have one question about a museum. I don't think of that as like really totally romantic. Why there? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, the place we sat, it overlooks the Pacific Ocean. You know, we got a view of Hollywood and LA, everything. And, uh, you know, art to me is like, it's nostalgic. It's, you know, like an aphrodisiac. Uh, we walk around. Okay. <laughs> You're surrounded by beautiful people, and uh, most of all, is you know, arm on with a beautiful girl. Very nice. Now, Magdalena, while you're hanging out with Bill, did he do anything or say anything that sort of put a damper on the romance or not? Well, a little bit. He talked about Leah a little bit, and, but he was very respectful towards their relationship, so I like that. But I wish it was just, you know, the two of us. Could have left her out of it right, all together. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And Bill, why did Leah come up? Why did you feel like you had to talk about her? Oh, it kind of loosens things up a little bit. I don't want her to think that I'm just out to get in her, you know, get on her or whatever else. Right. So, okay. <laughs> You get the impression of a girl that you've got a girl from you're interested in. You're such in. a male whore, just been low. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. I want to get the impression that I was, oh um, you know, you know, too too interested. You know, right. Play a little bit hard to get. You're trying to balance it a little bit. <laughs> right, Check out right. Rico Suave over here in the corner. He's like, guys, game plan. I think it's right. right. Leah, you're yeah. not buying any of this. Then is that oh, what you're saying? Yeah. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I totally call bullshit on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bill, was there other topics of conversation besides Leah? I hope. Oh yeah, we talked about, she has like careers, uh, she's goal oriented, uh, she's easy to talk to. I learned more about her in uh, the first two hours of our date mm -hmm. than I did in Leah with the first four months. Whoa. Very nice. <laughs> now, Magdalena, obviously he liked your ambition. What was it about Bill that you were digging? I, he was a very classy guy. He opened all my doors for me. He was not a sleazeball. Free also. He, Free date. Sorry. No, not at all. He was, effort, he, he, he was a total gentleman. He was a total gentleman. Right. On our date, definitely. Now, uh, besides the art bill, anything else you were checking out? <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to keep my eyes off her, you know. It's like I'm trying to get a look at her without coming on, like, yeah. too sleazy. Oh, I don't want to make that impression. Now, Bill said that art actually turns him on. Did you feel it kicking in anywhere? Definitely. We ha we went on a very romantic walk on the beach, and I saw Real this sparkle. Oh, no, where did you I, go? I saw this sparkle in his eye. There was a lot of chemistry on our date. So, Bill, you were down there on the beach. Uh, you were having a good time. Yeah, uh, how did things wind up? Oh, it was great. Um, we, we kicked back. I, our goodbyes, I gave her a nice hug goodbye. I actually com contemplated like reaching out and giving her a little rub on the booty or something, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to go too far with that. But so, you would have uh, missed it because she has no ass anyway. Why did you A second, hang on, because now that Leah's heard the details of Bill's date, does she actually trust him more or trust him less? The final decision is coming up next. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Bill's been in trouble now for the past six months since Leah found him in the sack with another gal, and he says that her petty jealousy is just driving them apart. Have they learned to trust, or will they take a hike? We're going to find out. So, Bill, we're going to start with you. You guys have been together actually for a year. That's a long time to be hanging out with somebody. We set you up with Magdalena to test the relationship. You guys went to the museum. You said you were really attracted to her. You guys had a really good time. What's your decision? Well, um, you know, Leah and I, we have the problem. She's, you know, very jealous about me. And, uh, you know, she doesn't think I do anything romantic for her. Uh, she's constantly getting after me for being a cheap ass, obviously, and procrastinator. But uh, <laughs> besides all that, I do know that Leah's the one for me, so... So you say stay together, okay? Bill's willing to hang in there. Magdalena, sorry things didn't work out. Leah, Bill says he wants to stay, but we sent you out with Mark. You said maybe he was more your speed, more your type of guy. You guys obviously had a really good time. You didn't have to deal with that whole trust thing that you have with Bill, obviously the history and the baggage that goes along with that. What do you say? Well, you know, obviously, like we said, I came here because those trust issues have caused so many insecurities and everything. And if anything, hearing the way he talked it made me feel a little bit more uneasy completely about a relationship. But in the end, I have faith that things will work out between the two of us, so I would really like to stay together. Stay together. All right, Mark, sorry things didn't work out for you either. All right, Bill and Leah, hopefully by coming on here, you guys have reestablished your trust, so good luck working that all out, and good luck in the future. That is our show for today. Thanks to Mark and Magdalena for being here. Good luck to Leah and Bill. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart. After this show, everyone had two things on their mind. I mean, she, she dressed kind of, kind of trashy. I might dress a little bit, you know, like, like free of clothing. First thing you look at, straight from the face down to the chest, you know. Though Leah enjoyed her rock climbing date, two weeks later, Leah and Bill's relationship is still rock solid.